And the way we're going to do that is we're going to close up this logo effects panel right there. And I feel like putting it above the specs. So I'm going to make a new layer right there. So let's call this uh, cross glow. And to make this cross glow, we're going to control click the center. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to control click the center's thumbnail right here. And to fill it up, we'll hit shift backspace or option delete. Use white like we have been doing for the whole freaking tutorial. And I'm going to deselect it with control D and I'm gonna bring up my pen tool by hitting the letter P and what we're gonna do with our pen tool is make an anchor point in the bottom left hand uh, grid right here and we're gonna make another anchor point somewhere in the upper right hand part of our canvas right here and I feel like somewhere over here we should make another anchor point and maybe right about there for another anchor point and then we'll just finish this off so that way you get a little bit of a a sideways hourglass feel that's what we're looking for so with this sideways hourglass path we're going to give our canvas a right click and make a selection and yes feather radius zero pixels anti-aliased new selection hit OK and we actually want to keep the this section of the hourglass so I'm gonna hit control shift I to invert my selection or you can just go up to select inverse right there and as soon as you have your selection inverted go ahead and hit backspace and that will delete the rest of your circle right there and as soon as you have that much deleted go ahead and hit control D to deselect and we're gonna get rid of a good majority of what's left of the circle by going over to our elliptical marquee tool and click and dragging from the center while holding alt and shift once again and we're gonna make the selection big enough to cover up a good portion of this triangle just leave about that much of the edge and hit backspace to delete that area and we're gonna hit control D to deselect and you're probably wondering why these are here well the reason that is is because we're actually gonna feather the edges a little bit to make them more like highlights rather than just random uh, cut up pieces of a circle so head back to your elliptical marquee tools feather and switch it back to 30 pixels like we did before and click and drag from the center while holding alt and shift until it about meets the edges of your pieces of white and as soon as you have your selection go ahead and hit backspace two maybe three times and hit control D to deselect and if you like it how it is that's perfectly fine or you can just lower the opacity just a touch and once it's looking alright to you you can optionally transform them with your control T command and give them a little bit of a turn and once they're in a good spot go ahead and hit enter and just for the fun of it I'm gonna go ahead and group all of these together by shift clicking from the top layer to the bottom layer and hitting control G we're just gonna call this button and I feel like giving this a reflection so we'll duplicate the group doesn't matter what it's called I'm just gonna drag it on below and right click it and merge the group and I'm gonna hit control T and right click it and flip it vertically and hit the check mark bring it on down uh, I'm going through this kinda of fast because I've already made a tutorial on how to make reflections you know um, if you guys wanna get more in depth into making reflections then I highly suggest you go ahead and click the annotation that should be on the screen right about now and I'm just gonna give this one more finishing touch by adding a shadow right there 
I'm going to give it a little bit of a blur. That's 10 pixels. Lower the opacity. And maybe nudge it up a little bit. And if you guys want to go ahead and delete these rulers right here, go ahead and go to your move tool. And you can click and drag them up back to the ruler and let go, and that should get rid of it for you. And let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so with all of that, you guys are done making your shiny button. I hope this was uh, a new experience for you guys, being able to make some cool highlights and adding reflections and all of that good stuff. So if you guys have any requests, as usual, go ahead and send them to us on our channel or just leave a comment below. We'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.